May June 2020, Paper 2, Wherein 2. Question 1. Gallium is an element in group 13. A sample of gallium is analyzed using mass spectrometer, and this is a mass spectrum. So just two uh, signals given, which is for the 69 and 71, with its uh, relative, relative abundance. Okay, so part A, explain what it means by the terms relative atomic mass. Okay, the <coughs> uh, definitions for this uh, relative atomic mass uh, for the old uh, syllabus is average mass of the isotopes relative to 1 over charge of the mass of charge, uh, carbon charge, where one atom of carbon charge is exactly charge AMU. So now, for the 2022 to 2024 syllabus, the average mass of isotope of an element okay, compared to the unified mass unit. So in this uh, latest uh, syllabus, the unified mass unit means this one. Okay, so you have to understand and know what to give. Okay, nowadays we use unified mass unit okay, for this one. Part B. Calculate the relative atomic mass of gallium. So you just need to use the mass 69 times 60.11 plus 71 times 39.89 okay, over the total relative abundance, which is 100 in this question. And it's asked for SF. Okay, you need to give 69.80. This is the requirement. You must give to 4 SF. For part C, uh, at least you need to know uh, the electronic configuration. Gallium is given, the nucleon number or the mass number is 71, proton number is 31. Okay, the nucleon number same as the mass numbers that are given, 71. Okay, for this part, total numbers of electrons in the lowest energy level. Lowest energy level is 1s subshell. So in this 1s subshell means the 1s orbital. So it has two electrons there. So it's two. And the type of orbitals which contains the electrons in the highest energy level. Okay, the highest energy level, uh, the type of orbitals. Huh? Okay, we know that the p orbital is always higher than the s orbital. So, in the highest energy level, okay, the type of orbital okay, that you should choose is the P, because P is higher than the S orbital. For part D, Gallium is heated in excess chlorine to form GaCl3. From here, we know that gallium is the central atom and is group 13. So it will share the three electrons with chlorine from three bonding. So from three bonding here, and they will have a maximum repulsion to the angle of 120, 120 degree. And the geometry is trigonal planar. Right, so bond angle is 120, and this is the structure, the shape of the molecules, trigonal planar. Okay, so for part E, gallium oxide and aluminum oxide react in the same way with the HCl. So this one you need to recall what you learned uh, in the uh, aluminum oxide with HCl. Okay, so for aluminum aluminum oxide with HCl. So you get this AlCl3 okay, and the 3 h 2 okay, So you just need to uh, replace the Al with the Ga. So you get this equation. Okay, part 2. 
suggest an equation for the reactions between gallium oxide and the sodium hydroxide. Okay, this one also similar to what you learned. Okay, aluminum oxide with NaOH with water form this compound. So gallium oxide will do the same thing and form this equation. Okay, that's all for this question. Thank you.